other day. I don't know if you were here. I think it was in the morning. Right. I said, look at the assholes in prison that women fall in love with and get married to. Okay, what does that tell you about humanity? I said, so don't give me any Oh, you mean like when Charles Manson any of them, even before had the admirers, the, uh, the, uh, the young girls? The Mendez brothers. I said, you know, really, you're an asshole. You never met the fucking cocksucker. He killed his parents and you fall in love with him? Shut up. I said, don't give me your crap. I mean, I've heard of women uh, um, um, taking a, a, a shining to someone that lives in the fast lane, but that's ridiculous. That's a little. That's a little much. Yeah. I mean, uh, just, what have I told you all? Right? They want attention. They're attention you for, You're not getting attention, though. Negative. Nobody pays attention to you. Nobody cares that you fall in love with man. So nobody gives a rat's ass. The point. Is, the, the point is, I've, I've told you all for years. Mental illness is so much more prevalent than you realize what's going on out there. I said nobody listens. Well look, well, look at Trump insulting Tru, uh, Trudeau and, and all and of... And then he falls in love with the one. You know, all of the uh, leaders of, of Europe. And he falls in love with the one. This, this little cocksucker who's the biggest abuser of human yeah. rights. So you have... you People have are starving. So you have your allies that you insult. He's a good man. He's smart and this <clears> and that. <throat> Trump's an asshole. Okay? He's just a dumb yeah. ass. I mean, you, you're, you're insulting your, your allies oh. and your neighbor. And you're kissing up to this guy who you don't even know. And you've got a stupid party that won't, that makes excuses for you. Great. That's why I'm going Democrat all the way down this next But election. you don't even know if Kim Jong could be trusted in the long run. His father wasn't, right? No, his grandfather wasn't. None of them. They're see, scumbags. See, I would say, well, uh, Leon Panetta was interviewed on CNN before, and he says, it's got to be verified, man. You can't just like take somebody's oh, word for it. Oh, this this Trump like he's a really nice guy. Oh. Yeah, it's like it's like it's like when Oscar Madison got oh. insurance from somebody in the odd cup, but he shook hands with him, and the guy says, "You are hereby insured." Right? This is insanity. You you are hereby insured just by uh, by shaking somebody's well, hand. I've told people well, I don't feel like I have a president right now. And uh, I, I know somebody personally, you, you know, uh, when Trump used to say, well, if you're going to come, if you're going to um, immigrate to this country, you must do it legally. Well, guess what? I know someone personally who's sponsoring their family from south of the border, and they have to wait. They were told they have to wait 18 years to get a, um, a green card. Years. Come on. Now, come on. Now, if that's not rigged. That should it, take a year or less. No, that's to discourage that's people. ridiculous. That, that, and it could be racism too. If you come, if you're a person of color and you're trying to uh, immigrate, well, no, they're all of color, but it's Latinos. Color's right. got nothing to do with. You're singling them out. They're Eighteen just, years. Uh, I mean, come on. We're such a sick country right now. It, it takes. I mean, that is insane. Eighteen years to get to get immigration you papers. Should heard, you should hear the discussions we have in the morning. Like I said, people that come walk by and come over to me. Man, you guys don't mess around. I said, no, we cover, don't mess around. We cover oh. every issue you can think of in here. And we come over and they, they give discussions and are, we argue and go back and forth. I said, whoa, whoa, wait a minute and you, give me this, blah, blah, blah. We go back and forth. I forget what all we, I can't remember even one thing that we talked about. Did I tell you the story about when I had my cer um, hernia procedure yeah. and, and that what they billed Medi uh, Me 20, Medicare? $20,500 and, and whatever, 51 cents. Just for taking up space in the in the room, and then wheeling me on a gurney to the uh, sir, operating room. Where'd you go? It's only name. But I says I didn't even stay overnight. I told I says you got to be kidding me. You you're ripping. You're how do you how do you justify that? Expense? I says you're abusing you're abusing the insurance company of no, Medicare. No, you have an excuse. Well, it costs this much. Why does that cost this much? I wonder how much their CEO sucks up. Mm -hmm. I mean, come, it's like the charities. No, it's like the corporations. When you get fired as CEO, but your, your, your umbrella buyout is 40, 60, 80 mil, million dollars oh, to get see. fired. You fired me for 40 yeah. million, okay? And why, and why does a major charity need a CEO making $2 million, the American Red Cross, the United Way, well, the March of earn, Dimes? How did you earn $300,000 a year? You do for the, well, you're getting fired for what? Apparently, you didn't do your job. Why are you being rewarded right. for not doing your job? Well, shouldn't, like like with big charities, shouldn't they, shouldn't they consist of uh, volunteer work? 
I mean, well, you know. You have to pay certain people, but not that much. Come on. Well, you 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 read the article where like tw was it twenty five cents on a dollar goes to the worthy uh, cause? No, a lot of even just ten cents on the dollar. Oh God! Come on, this is wrong. By law, the law should get involved. The government, the federal government. If you're a charity, eighty percent must across the board go to the charity. Go to the charity by law. Why are they making the law? Well, well this is the same government that can't take care of his goddamn a VA. This oh, is yeah. the goddamn government that has a has yeah. Veterans Day and Memorial Day. Oh, yeah. Which is bullshit. It should be every so, day. Talk. Well, it's they so, want... Don't they, give me your day crap. They probably would love for the troops to come home in body bags, and they don't, they don't have to take care of them. I mean, um, come on. It's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. And people buy into it. Let's go. I want to have a serious Yeah, one. all right. People have, want an answer? Because it seems like... If you hear what you don't want, you run off with a little tail between your legs. Well, I, f I find that a lot of people with high intellect and high uh, academics, high education, have no common sense whatsoever. Yeah. Like, uh, I, knew, I knew a guy with a master's degree that didn't even know that General Motors made Chevrolet, Oldsmobile, Buick, and Cadillac at the time. Didn't even know. I go, you well, got to be kidding. intellect can't be that high then. Yeah, but they just don't know general basic things. Well, if you don't, then your intellect isn't very good. You better know the basics. Yeah, I mean, I mean, God, he, what is the, he just... Now let me ask them, how many schools, I'd love to ask them, how many school universities came after you? What do you mean? It's, oh, my parents had two folders. Right. Of schools that wanted me. Those with football, those without. Both <clears throat> folders were this thick. Did you ever get a personal letter from a head of state? I right. got one from the, the, the head of Prince of Monaco, signed by both Prince Rainier and Princess Grace to attend the University of Monaco for Oceanography, Marine Biology. Oh, that's cool. I said, did you? In all the schools, I was one of the first to, ed to uh, segregate two black schools, Southern right. University and I forget the other one. I said, how many were you? We had files of hundreds of schools that wanted me because of my IQ. You wanted probably IQ. made the Dean's Honors list at least once in your life. No, no, I was no. not a good student. Uh, the reason they Just found athletics. Out, yeah. The reason they found out was my grades in school were not good in high school. My parents knew I was anything but dumb. So they found out about through, through the counselor. Maybe you're bored. You know, brilliant kids are often no, bored. Let me, let me finish. Okay. I went for these IQ tests at NYU every weekend for five weeks right i was the first to finish in three weeks then they bring in psychologists and they bring in a file and they review everything about you they said he just gets bored so quickly if he's not challenged that's what it is no 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 stimulation I, I, i'm like mental stimulation I said, the classes i like i breeze through the other ones i'm, I'm staring out the window i'm like uh, spanish or whatever i'm like oh god I said, and then what they do with these reports, right. they sent them around the world to all of the world's universities and colleges. And that's why these colleges responded and wanted me. Because they realized this guy's beyond potential. He, can, he just doesn't, doesn't, he doesn't test well. Meaning the potential is off the board. He's right. like he was sky high. So that's why all these schools came after me. And I, and I would like to see Joseph, can you, can you equal that somehow? I don't know. Hey, I, I, I found the coolest banner, it, and, it, and it had no words on it, but a picture's worth a thousand words. It was a person's face with a, with a smartphone with legs like a spider, just like whammo, like, like attached to, like right in front of the person's face, wrapped around his head. And it, it shows how hypnotized people are with their smartphones like kids you know millennials How many years have I been telling you all this? They, they lost their ability to communicate How many years have I been telling you all you've been this? telling me for a I long time it. now studies have shown that uh, if there's brain, wa brain waves suicides are rising sky high depression is sky high the more usage with this goddamn shit everything I've told everybody yeah. I, again I told people in the morning everything I've warned you every single thing I told him in the morning, yes. I don't want to talk about it. I'm never wrong. I said, I'm nobody's fool. Get that through your heads. 
I said, I tell you stuff yeah. that you're all sitting here and you will not listen. I mean, when you, th when you see people in everyday walks of life, you go to the doctor's office, they whip out their phone and start texting. Nobody communicates. Don't, don't talk. Oh, don't they talk. Heaven forbid somebody should talk to you. Remember or you speak. here his two friends? I'm going, I'll be back. Came home. I left, I left, uh, did I tell you that? Yeah, you were sitting there like, I left. why am I here, right? I left after five minutes. I saw where it was going. I said, I'll be back. And they, I got in the car, came home. I said, fuck you. Man. I said, what you did is just rude. Yeah. You want to go out and you're in the talk. I said, I don't need this. Well, some... And you, and Sal, you're so dumb, you've got to ask, why did you go home? You don't know any better? What do you think, hot shot? Well, I noticed with some cultures, the the men have this smug arrogance you know about what? them. I don't care about your culture. You're you're in the United States where we try to be nice to all humanity, okay? So don't give but, me your culture. But the get together was pre-planned. Yeah, yeah, don't give me your culture bullshit. Well, am I right? That's, well, the get together was pre-planned. So let's be your Rick Benzi. Right. It doesn't matter. Your culture, fuck your culture. Your culture sucks, Sal. I said, your Indians are, you are as rude as the world gets towards its women. You treat rape like it's nothing. Right. I said, what's to brag about? It's like, it's like, it's like the Catholic Church with homosexual pedophilia. I said, yeah, don't defend that yeah. crap to me. Don't, don't ever defend and, that and crap And if you, and if you go to a 7-Eleven, they stare at you like you're going to steal from them. Well, I am. I'm going to take this, sir. I'm not going to pay for it, okay? Call the cops. Just get a response from him. Oh, by the way, one of the episodes of, of Seinfeld with the comedian, they, they went to the Bendix Diner. One of his episodes, I said, wow, how cool. It said, and at the end, it said Bendix Diner, Hasbrook Heights, New Jersey. Wow. And I, you know what I used to go there for? Bison burgers. They sell buffalo burgers. No. They, they were, I've they, only been there once. They, I had a, yeah. A nice Western omelet. They were eight ounce, nice eight. I th yeah, I think they were. They were eight ounce They're bison good. burgers. Oh, excellent. Excellent. It, it, it's, it's really an old-fashioned greasy spoon. It's a basic diner. You're basic diner. diner. But I was shocked to see Seinfeld and a comedian. Who was uh, a comedian? It, one, nobody, nobody, somebody he knew, but I didn't know. It was a heavy set guy, and um, he was lived in New York, but he wanted to go to the Bendix Diner. He loved the Bendix Diner. So he had Seinfeld bring him there. And I go, holy crap, it's the Bendix Diner. As soon as he said, uh, he said, Route, as soon as they went through the Lincoln Tunnel, he told us, so he says, Route 3, uh, West, Route 17 oh, they North. they came up and then turned around yeah. and went into it? Yeah, they went this way, and then all of a sudden, I see the Bendix Diner, they're pulling in the driveway. I go, holy shit, how about that? Wow, what was this? This was uh, one of his episodes of uh, um, comedians in cars getting coffee. That's the name of the series. Great, great coffee. Well, that's what they do. Stupid. But you know what the best part is? He drives a vintage car uh, with every comedian. Yeah, the other one is dumb as a karaoke car. Yeah. Shit, be great. But he has a he, he has a preference for Porsches. I noticed. He always has. Yeah. Um, one oh, this one car was a nightmare. The one he picked him up, uh, picked up this French comedian. It was a Citroen two cylinders. I I thought of you. I go Citroen two a, cylinders. A two, no, it was a post World War Two Citroen. Two. I said, and the thing was like pop 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 pop. <laughs> why? That's the point. Why, why make you bring it? That? But why drive it? And it was conking out on Manhattan, and why you know. Why, now, make, why would you have one? Six why? Have, is one of the ugliest cars ever made. Well, this was a two-seater. They're ugly. It was a two-seater. It was gray. It only came in gray, I think. And it had two cylinders. Why? Why even manufacture something like that? You might as well just drive, or drive a... Uh, a if motor. I was a, a CEO and you, you as an engineer came to me with a blueprint, a drawing of that. I'm right. Like, are you kidding me? This thing's fucking ugly. No. It's ugly, and you're giving me two we cylinders. Can't make this. And you're giving me two cylinders. Two, two. Are you nuts? Why not no cylinders? It just sits there, then. Fred Flintstone. Why? Nice. Why have brakes? Just have a hole in the floor and put your your, your feet through. You see, IHOP is changing their name temporarily. What? What? To what? IHOP. Excuse me. Please, because they're more than just that. It's burgers. All the the big. But that's giant such a things. stupid name. IHOP. Yeah, for sure. Wow. Like Hobbit. No, they're taking the uh, pea and pancakes 
and flipping it to be because I have for a limited time. Yeah. But their burgers do look phenomenal. Yeah. Oh, by the way, that all the uh, bacon egg uh, sausage it was it was good. It was right. Oh, for a little over two bucks for a box. Yeah, but uh, but anyway, it's like for what? How many in a box? You four, I think. Four for two dollars? Oh, a little over two bucks. Yeah. Bacon, they have uh, Canadian bacon. It, same same size as the egg McMuffin. Really? Four for two dollars. It, it's an English muffin, cheese, oh, microwave, sausage. Thirty seconds. Eh, two minutes. It says two and a half minutes, but if I do two and a half, the English muffin gets a little, yeah. a little too stiff. Yeah. Yeah, they try to give you a middle. Yeah. You can never believe a, a, a directions for food. You got to do your own thing and but, test it. Like pasta. As soon as chefs will tell you, as soon as pasta flows to the surface, it's done. You got to strain it right away. Well, no, if you put like I do, you put so much pasta in, there's no room to flow to the surface. Yeah. So you really got to. What I always do is go under the, the minutes they say. Yeah, like ravioli. If just, they say 12 minutes, I'll test it at 10. Right. And see. Like if you drop tortellinis or raviolis yeah. in boiling water, they sink. But then you start seeing them go come to the top. Yeah, but oh. if you have a lot in there, they can't. Yeah, how can you tell? That's it. So that, that, that really doesn't work. Well, spaghetti will float. That I know. That's hard, too, because if you have, I, I put so much in that. I just test it after yeah. two minutes before now, it's supposed to be. Now, angel hair never walk away because it only takes like a couple, two, three minutes, angel hair. You know? I've never messed up pasta. I'm very good with pasta. Yeah. What's it? I always, always undercook it a lot. It's like one of those no-brainer recipes. Well, no, no. For a lot of people, they still can't do that. You know, some, some people... Guys and girls, especially millennials, they're lucky if they can boil water. A lot of people can't. I mean, seriously. They can't do a damn thing. I'm I, I don't think they can spread peanut butter on bread. Did I tell you a story about the, the old lady upstairs? She she took a nap and didn't and forgot she was boiling eggs on the stove and the, and the water evaporated. I did that. The eggs burnt and the, and the fire de and the, the the alarm went off. Fire department like had to. Was they wanted to snap the door? I had to call the landlord, and it turned out the fire, the fire, uh, the fireman comes out with the pot with the burnt eggs on the bottom. I says, I said to to the woman Margaret, when, when, remember when I was uh, please uh, use a big when pot. I was staying or living up an extended stay in Ramsey. Yes, and Peter was there, the my friend who committed suicide. He was in another room. Yeah. The fire department, the whole hotel had to evacuate one night. I did not. Whenever I heard the alarm, I was, I was worried they just hit the The front desk said, Billy, we know. If it's, if it's serious, we'll call you. Oh, by the way, what did you think of extended stay? It was nice. It's, it's like a studio. Yeah, it's got a whole kitchenette. There. You, you have a full refrigerator, I believe. You have a st electric stove. You have cabinets. Microwave. Yeah, so technically, you, a person can live there. They do. Most people there for years. Do they have like discounts when you stay there yeah, for extended, yeah. like the more extended? Well, anyway, Peter, one night the whole place had to evacuate. The fire department came running in. He tried to bake a potato in the microwave in tin foil. Oh no! Metallic in a microwave? And he came running down the hall screaming, "There's no fire! There's no fire! There's no fire!" I didn't know. Jackie you, told me. You don't put anything metallic in. Well, no, you don't. <laughs> microwave. You can't. Oh I my said, God! What are you thinking? What a what a what a what a nincompoop! What a numbskull! Well, Peter had some, you know, he passed away, obviously. Well, talk about common sense, sense, basic knowledge. That that that's one of them. Oh, the microwave, God. I always do bake. If I do it, I really do it in a bake, uh, in, in a microwave. I'd rather boil it. Well, no, but if I do it in a microwave, I'm in a hurry. You wrap it in two or three paper towels. Yeah, not oh, the. Leave me alone. So it looks like uh, New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy. Uh, I, I read signed the law for to uh, approve of uh, sports sports betting, sports betting in the state of New Jersey. So what? Why aren't you approving the casinos over here? It's been two years since Hard Rock put a bid in. <coughs> really? Oh, you mean where near the Metal the Meadowland Sports Complex? <coughs> right here. Yeah, on the one. Protecting Atlantic City, I said, from what? From what? You had a clobbered on your one side by Pennsylvania, on the north by, by Connecticut. They're going to get you yeah. either way. Well, in Connecticut, you got Foxwoods and Mohegan so Sun. That's my point. The point is you're surrounded anyway. Yeah. So why not have it in one of the most 
crowded wealthiest counties in the nation right up here. Well, you know, my idea for uh, the well, hut. No, let me, let me, real fast. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Nothing worked from the beginning in Atlantic City. Okay, so what's your It's a fiasco. It was make it, it different now by protecting. It was a waste of God knows how many millions of dollars. Billions of dollars. Billions of dollars. It's just not going to work. Because it's a slum. It's a high crime dump. Well, they lie. If passed, it's like Camden, they're going to fix the whole city up. They never touch the city. The, mon lie. the money from the casino industry. They never touched ne everything. They drove businesses out and boarded them up. Yeah, they never. So you didn't do a damn thing. They, they lied to the people. Yeah. Yeah, they basically abandoned Atlantic City and lied to them. You're exactly right. And how many casinos have gone bankrupt over the decades down there? Why? Something's wrong, people. Yeah, the crime got so bad and the corruption, too. They, uh, I, I think the state cleaned house with the politicians in Atlantic City. Yeah, the state, they're as corrupt as can be, too. That's the pot calling, calling the kettle black. Yeah. Now, Let me know what you find out if they call you back. Yeah, I will. Now... Well, my idea was to have riverboat gambling on the Delaware River and the Hudson River. Have the flat bottom they've traditional had it, flat. They've had it, Jimmy, not maybe on the Hudson, but they've had those ones that leave out of Brooklyn and they just cancel them because of all the drunkenness. Oh, they've, had them, they've had them for de oh, over a decade. Are they had casinos aboard? Uh, yes, they have gambling ships that went out. But people were getting drunk and they just canceled them. No more. People abused the right. And they've had. The old-fashioned gay 90 stern wheelers. Yeah, that's what I mean. On the Iowa, the Mississippi from Iowa that have been going up and down for over 20 years. Yeah, I mean, do it. I mean, the Mississippi goes all the way to uh, St. Paul, Minneapolis, this Minnesota. New. This is nothing new. Who was the first guy that won an offshore gambling? Trump? No. Bill Morrow. Senior or you? Me. Oh, and the government called me and said, uh, uh, I was 18. Yeah, but it was offshore. I know. I mean, they it was... still said no. But back then, offshore was 12 miles. Today, it's only three miles. And they heard about it and said, still, you can't. You, you, did you... I want to take a lot of those, you know, the giant garbage barges, like six to eight to ten. Anchor them down. Weld them together, take them offshore, anchor down and have high-speed little, little hydrofoils or whatever. <laughs> Shuttle people back and forth. That That's how they used to get moonshine in, uh, well, uh, to New York. And they said you can't do it. I mean, during Prohibition. I, Not moonshine, I'm, I'm sorry. Enough to be, no, I was the first. Yeah. Way back before there was gambling, Jimmy, basically, except we, for Vegas. Well, you know, that's how Russian and Japanese commercial fishing boats fished out our area because of the... The dis, you know, the distance change and. But they called me and they heard somehow. They called rum. Right, and said you can't do it. Call them rum runners. But isn't that something? It was ahead of the, in 1970, 71. I guess. Now you're in international waters and they're telling you you, you can't, can't, do, do, you can't do, it. do it. Now how how? Well, I guess because shuttling would be not an international. Ah. See, I'm coming into in normal that's, waters. That's right. You're coming into I US. I can't waters. use your waters, and then I'm screwed either way. That's like people who have sure, to Sure, you can build it, but you can't use our landing strips. That's like people who get, have to get permission to fly into airspace. Airspace, and why do we fight with certain nations? Do you to put our military base, airfields there, or whatever? Yeah. If they don't okay, you can't do it. Yeah. So what do you do? What are you going to do? That's You're the way it is. Screwed. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.